Here we go again guys. Now today, a lot of people have been asking me like, where am I gonna talk about the cost of the license, the cost of having your own truck, what do you need to do? But this is the right time to talk about it. So let's get into it. So as a lot of people know already, I was in the army for a period of time, about seven years, probably a little bit longer than that. I got my license in the forces. Came out of it, and before I came out of it, I got a job in a company. So I went to that company and I gained some experience, but in the time being, I was, I was always thinking, what am I gonna do with my life? I spoke to my missus, like three months down the line. We talked about it, we talked about the risks, we talked about like how volatile the industry is and where the money was gonna come from. But while we were doing the research to find out what's the risk is, we find out there's a lot of people out there they start their trucking business and they fell in the first year. So we were thinking about, all right, what's the risk is? How much we're gonna put in? And what will happen if this fell? So we had all these temps in place. We were thinking about the risk is, we were thinking about where the job's gonna come from, how much money we're gonna need in the bank. Like we thought about everything down to a T. And at the same time, we thought, Carry on doing the YouTube. Let's see what comes out of it. Um, here we are. We have spoke to people like honest operators. Uh, example, I have a mate of mine and I asked him loads of questions. I run through everything. I asked him where the jobs come from, bag loads, companies that I can work with. And there's been such a nice people out there. They have approached me. We are maybe asking saying, listen, do it that way, that way, that way, that way, that way and do this. And I just put everything down. Uh, a lot of people have helped me with customers and stuff like that. It's always help out there. A lot of people are willing to help, but a lot of people are just praying for you to fail. But don't we get that out? So, and like when the time went past, we saved a little bit more money and all that. And I decided to sell my amazing car. They didn't want to sell it. But when you want to start something, you need to let go a lot of things. So, sold the car, uh, got about 25 grand out of it. And then I started planning and start looking for trucks. I went online. I went to a and I went to a lot of places trying to find out the right truck. When you find the right truck, you know, but it's up to you. It can vary to buying a truck from five grand to 10 grand to 150 grand. It's up to you how much you want to spend. But what you need to think about is if it's an Euro 6 or an Euro 5, what kind of work you're going to be doing and what kind of work you don't want to be doing. So you need to put all that into consideration as well. But Keep looking, I thought Euro 6 is the right truck to go, found the right one, drove down there, met this amazing guy called Perry and he took me through everything in the truck. I saw the truck and I thought, yes, we like that truck, we want to take it with us and that was about it. And then we found the right truck and we came back, spoke about it. So we went out before we even thought about, like, yes, we're going to buy it. We went and found out a mechanic. Around the corner, we found one straight away. We find out the cost of the PMIs. We find out the insurance cost. I'm not running with a commercial. And at the time being, because the truck is not being used for commercial purposes, I'm using it for taking it to the shop, uh, get a fix, taking it out for painting and all that kind of stuff. So I don't need a commercial for the time being. Anyway, you cannot get a commercial insurance until you have your operator license because that's a number that is given to you that only you know about it that that's gonna be able to quote you for the license for commercial purposes and the fixing process so we grabbed the truck we bought it came back with it went to the jnms dropped to there i went in i did a couple of recordings i wanted to know how things get fixed we got the brake stone we got the oil dome uh, we have tire changing, we have so many things changed just to make sure when that truck is on the road, it's not gonna cause a lot of problem. I'm gonna come to the cost of that just in a second. While the truck was getting all that as well, just before that, we have to get the taxes. We done the tax, the road tax, the insurance and all that, like I said before, we done all that. While the repairs were going on, my message, she was doing the studio for the transport manager, that, went through as well, she's done it. We just waited for the result to come back. Fingers crossed she already passed it. The cost of, of the operating license, at the same time she was doing that, I was applying for the operator's license. I needed a transport manager for the time being. Uh, that cost some money as well. We had to do the advertising for the papers as well. That went through. 
um, just little things that you have to tick in the boxes to be able to get the operator's license, you won't believe it. Like, like it's so much that you have to remember to do in order just to get your operator's license, get your truck on the road, it's a lot. But what you all wanna know, obviously I took you through everything, but what everybody actually wanna know is how much did all of this cost me? So let's get into that now. So when it comes to have your operator's license, all you need is transport manager, you will need an operating center and you will need a maintenance agreement. As soon as you go then things, you'll be able to apply. But it's one of them that a lot of people don't know about, that when you do your research, you find out about it. There is publishing your business in the paper and you will have to send that to the traffic commissioner officer for them to see, yeah, it's advertising, it's doing all right, there you go. And then they will make their mind up and see if they're gonna send you the license. The tricky bit is you need 8,000 pounds in the account. You need eight grand, not touchable. You can't touch that whatsoever unless your truck breaks down in the road and then taking it back to the garage and then getting it fixed. And as soon as you get it fixed and you use that money, you will have to replace that money straight away. That money cannot be touched or there than rescuing your vehicle. If you know anything different, please you can leave them in the comment and let us know what is being your experience. All right, so we come to the part that everybody wants to know how much, people go, how much did it cost you? How much did this cost you? How much is everything costing you? This is what it cost me so far. I'm not saying that this is what it's gonna cost you. You can make it cheaper, but I wanna do it right and everybody should do it right. So for an example, for my operator's license, I need to have 8,000 pounds in the account. Transport manager is costing me 350 pounds a month. That is a month. You need to remember this. You need to have enough money to pay for your bills, for your truck, a month. And parking and operating center, you need to have an operator center like we said before. So that's gonna cost you 239 pounds. Insurance, so far, like I said, is non-commercial. So, because it's non-commercial, I'm not paying the full price. As soon as I have my operator's license, which is about to come, I will need to redo my insurance. Tax, road tax, you will need your road tax. As soon as you move in that way, you need your road tax and your insurance. Road tax cost me 1,428 pounds. You need that straight away. Insurance, 4,000. It's non-commercial at the time being. I, I checked this and when I go commercial, like when I start doing goods for other people and all this, I need the right insurance, it will be around 7,000 pounds. But at the time being, I just pay 4,000 pounds to be able to move my truck from A to B to do all the repairs. So my own license costs up. When you send it, it costs you a feet just to send it so they can look at it. So for my own license, application costs me 257 pounds. That is no question asked, you gotta pay that. And, and the wait is between six to eight weeks. When the license is issued, you will have to pay another fee. For a little piece of plastic or paper, whatever it is, a little disc that goes inside your truck, it's gonna cost you 401 pound as well. So if you round that, it's yeah, 600 pound 58. That is straight away just for this operating license disc. That is just a disc. And then when you come, to do all this, your license will be sent to you on the period of time. That is why you need, that is what I have done or what we have done so far. For the cost of the truck being repaired, uh, 3,100 pounds. So that 3,100 pounds that paying repairs, it was for the, for the brakes, it was for the oil changing, it was for the crank oil, it was for changing filters, it was absolutely everything that the truck needed. And it's in the video, if you haven't watched the video, go to the channel and there's like when we've done the repairs and all that kind of thing. So go enjoy and leave a comment and like the videos as well. I like all the videos. But anyway, and when and the, and this is where, where where your mind will blow is the transport money you cost costs around one thousand pounds. Some of them cost more. When my missus went through, we were like, yeah, we will get your transport money, yeah. But it's gonna be up to you to wanna do it. She said, yes, I wanna do it because she's supported. Like, like you got no idea. She went and do it, just waiting for the results. Like I said, that's a thousand pounds as well. And what a lot of people don't think, you need a lot of money in the bank. You, you, need, you need a lot of money in the bank. And to start, this is my recommendation and what I have, I speak to people that actually run business that are top drivers is that you need minimum 10,000 pounds just, just for fuel saved up in your account to be able to start running one truck. If you got two trucks, the recommendation is 20 grand. But if you got 
anything more than that is always going to be a great help but remember this is fuel always remember to put little bits like two grand three grand or whatever in case that your truck break down you have a blowout anything so you you have to put that little bit extra money in part but the recommendation is 10 grand just for fuel having all that so far like what i just said there what i have spent is 29,188 that is how much it cost me so far so i'm not putting the truck in because the truck can cost you whatever you want it can cost you 10 grand so if the truck is costing you 10 grand you add on to that and be like all right it's going to cost me 39,000 or you can say 40,000 40,000 pounds to start but always remember that it's going to be like little cost that you're expecting whatsoever little things Little, little, little things. Even when you're repairing your truck, you need to pull fuel in. If you're doing what I'm doing, taking it for painting, it's gonna cost you more. It depends how much you wanna spend. This is not the end of it. When the paint job is done and everything is done, I will come back to you and let you know how much everything is costing so far. But this is the final cost. If you want to start your own business, this is how much it's gonna cost you. If you do a pre-spray, it's gonna cost you hell more, but 13 29,000 and add on to how much you're going to spend buying your truck it's up to you how much you want to spend it's a lot of options there if you want to spend 150 grand you're still going to have to do your oil change and all that just in case because personally if i buy from a company i will do my own my oil change myself and make sure that everything is done right just in case that is what i've been told by professional drivers and people that got their own business but anyway if you like this comment like share and everything and i really appreciate all the support that all of you give me and uh, let's kick 2024 in a good foot so here we go again guys